I chose to become an actress because I've always felt so inspired to be that resource for others and tell stories through my own. I think that's always very powerful and that's the way I, I felt inspired and grew up and, and felt a motive and a purpose. So I decided to pursue it professionally at a very young age and also having my parents around who were also very successful actors got me the idea and, and involved and I was always so excited. Um, so art in itself was always a big inspiration for me and I found my strength through art so it was a motive I needed for me to pursue it for sure. As an artist we absolutely have an effect on people um, because I believe we're not just here to entertain, but we're also here to heal. Uh, we have a purpose to educate and inspire. And with that, we carry a social responsibility. And I believe that truly. I feel like as an actress, I have to understand what is the message that I'm sending and who am I speaking? How am I telling my story? I realized I wanted to become an actress. I believe I was 12 years old. Yes. I was 12 years old and I had just finished a presentation of a monologue. It was a Romeo and Juliet monologue and I was doing it in front of the whole middle school, whole school with parents, teachers. I remember I felt so nervous. It was my first presentation uh, as an actress in the theater. I was 12 years old and I remember thinking to myself after I finished and the curtains closed and I hear the applause and I hear the energy of the people I remember thinking to myself, I want to do this. I want to continue doing this for the rest of my life. Like, quiero hacer esto siempre. And I, after that, I, I always felt that was, that was my calling. I always felt that somehow through art, I needed to continue my purpose and express myself for sure. I absolutely put myself in imaginary scenarios constantly. <laughs> I'm always creating movies and like imaginary circumstances. I'm always just playing out different characters and different possibilities. I talk to myself a lot. It's, I feel like it's, it's not weird at all. <laughs> um, but absolutely, I, I, I'm always creating stories. I'm always just putting myself out there and, and thinking what if and, and just creating stories of my own since I can remember. Growing up with my parents as actors, uh, they were very successful in Puerto Rico and I felt so cool <laughs> as a kid. I felt like Wow, looking at like looking out to my parents and growing up in studios and the theater, meeting people and seeing the whole process. I was just inspiring and I admired them incredibly. I felt I was in a complete different world and I knew I belonged there somehow. I knew it was my fate and my destiny. It felt right, but it felt just insane you know just seeing your parents and, and going to the mall and then having people ask for their autographs it was it was so cool as a kid <laughs> when you're eight it's like oh my god my parents are being you know recognized out there so it was actually a, a beautiful memory beautiful memories we have growing up and especially growing up in the theater and growing up in the studio and having that experience it just I that's how I started to fall in love with it as a working actress one of the biggest lessons I've learned, I would say that there are no characters, but just different versions of yourself. And this has helped me understand and just live fully through those imaginary circumstances. When you put yourself there, when you really just live through that truthfully, you're telling your own story. and. That's what people want to see.